All right, so uh, we had a fun time playing around with our private EC2 instance there. Um, and so we're pretty much wrapped up here for stuff. I mean, there's other things here, but you know, at the associate level, uh, it's no, uh, there's not much reason to get into all these other things here. Um, but uh, I do want to show you one more thing for VPCs, which are VPC flow logs. Okay, and so uh, I want you to go over to your VPC here. Okay, and then I just want you to go up and I want you to create a flow log. So flow logs will track all the um, uh, the traffic that is going through um through your vpc okay and so it's just nice to know how to create that so we can have it to accept reject or all i'm going to set it to all and it can either be delivered to cloudwatch logs or s3 cloudwatch is a very good de uh, destination for that um in order to deliver that we're going to need a destination log group um i don't have one so in order to send this to a log group we're going to have to go to cloudwatch okay we'll just open this up in a new tab here Okay, and then uh, once we're here in CloudWatch, we're going to create ourselves a new uh, CloudWatch uh, log. All right, and we're just going to say actions create log group, and we'll just call this um, Bajor uh, VPC flow log or VPC logs or flow logs. Okay, and we will hit create there. And now, if we go back uh, to here and hit refresh, we may have that destination now available to us. There it is. Okay, uh, we might need an IM role associated with this um, to have permissions to publish to CloudWatch logs. So we're definitely going to need permissions for that. Okay, and I'll just pop back here with those uh, credentials here in two seconds. So I just wanted to collect a little bit of flow log data so I could uh, show it off to you to see what it looks like. Uh, and so, you know, under our VPC, we can see that we have flow logs enabled. We had 